Today, the media is not just an agent for creating, transmitting, and sustaining culture. It is culture itself. Whoever is able to control these medium indirectly controls the culture of the age and time. Again, no society or community exists without communication, just as no communication without society. The social order of sharing or exchanging of ideas down the age must have informed the mother church always at the forefront, pointing the way to light and righteousness for well over 2,000 years and it's still doing so, to recognize the importance of using the conventional and now the social media for the common good and to promote the apostolic ministry of the church. The Directorate of Social Communications of the Catholic Archdiocese of Lagos uh, is a department for communicating to, with the society in terms of moral and faith uh, basing all our communications on the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ himself. Of course, Jesus Christ himself is a communicator by excellence and uh, because he has communicated himself to the world, he has given us that mandate to go to the whole world and make the disciple of the whole world by preaching the gospel. And to preach the gospel, you have to communicate. And that is why the whole Christian dom, the whole Christian faith is all about communications. We were able to get some equipment, um, some video cameras, some photo cameras, with which we were able to better cover events of things happening here and there within the diocese. And then with the use of those um, uh, media accessories, we have also been able to showcase some of the things going on in the diocese to not just people within the diocese, but people outside the diocese, especially through our website. At the start of the diocese, that was in 1998, just a year after, the then Bishop of Abekuta Diocese, the most reverend Dr. Alfred Adewali Martins, uh, decided to set up this, this department as a way of you know, um, communicating to the world you know, the social teachings of the church as a way of evangelizing you know, through the media. Church document on communication, intermedifica, this is among all the modern inventions and discoveries the most influential and most effective ones are the media of social communications. We know this media of social communication which includes press, radio, television, internet and uh, social media today. Indeed, the Catholic Church over time has relentlessly kept faith with the Vatican II documents on the use of the social media and the responsibility of media professionals issued on the 4th of December 1963. The Council also recommends appropriate training among Catholics for the apostolic use of the media. The Popodicist once said that uh, the, the church must possess the media, otherwise the media will possess the church. Uh, the Directorate is, 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 is built up as a department in the Archdiocese to achieve the goal of um, uh, circulating information and uh, dispersing um, information to the society about the church's activities, church's events. For those who don't know too much about communication, they often downplay what communication is about. The church and the mission of the church is all about evangelization. And the evangelization cannot be carried out without communication. And that was why the Holy Father taught it wise in June 2019 to set up a different dicastery for communication because communication is the life of the church. Like our name rightly 
goals, Sisters of the Eucharistic Heart of Jesus. We are a religious body of pontifical right. We use the media art feed to project Christ, the Eucharistic Lord, to the world using our various apostolate. Now the communication department becomes the vehicle, the channel in which we bring Christ to the people in terms of uh, talk about education. We use that to project how we can, the sisters who are in that section or that field can bring Christ to the world. Bringing communication to the door step of individuals is our target. Individuals and groups of persons, organizations, the churches. Um, now we our signature we, 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 we talked about viewing with the heart of Jesus. That simply says whatever we do, however we do our own media work, we do it the way if Jesus, the perfect communicator, would have done it if he were to be with us. So a unique way of reaching out to people, not the way other people have been doing it, but in a very unique way, touching lives, bringing Christ to people and people to Christ. Eyes, Albanian Institute of Communication Education is here to empower and educate clergy, religious and the faithful to use media for this very same purpose. And it is also committed to promoting career oriented media training programs to youth, making them best in the all encompassing and ever emerging field of mass media. There are bold signs that the Directorate of Social Communications Lagos Province and the Media Apostolate of the Catholic Archdiocese of Lagos are delivering on their mandates through the different publications and training programs. We have the Catholic Herald newspaper, for instance, which is the ARM. We have the Center for Media Development, which is like an education, communications and education center. And we also have uh, a proposal for multimedia center. At the moment now, we must say that for audio content, uh, the Archbishop's uh, lengthy reflection has become the most explosive, but the most shared in the Christian world uh, as, 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 as we speak right now. Font magazine is a, is, is a family magazine. It cuts across not just audience in Nigeria, but across the country the world where we especially where we have our communities and uh, the whole idea is bringing different issues different ranging from theological issues spirituality politics economics medical social contemporary issues that will enrich our public i must say i'm proud of um, this uh, font magazine uh, the publication from the eucharistic heart of jesus it has come to stay and uh, in the Archdiocese of Lagos is the talk of the town. So it's a yearly publication and they always long for it. Well, the philosophy behind it is basically, just like I said, to it's the propagation of faith and morals. I mean, that's the mandate, you know, particularly from the bishop, you know, to us, to the department, that we should help you know, to propagate faith and morals in according to the social teachings of the church. Apparently, the social teachings of the church is is more or less like the guiding, the guiding principles, what guides us. Because uh, when it comes to matters of faith and morals, you know, some of you know, the you know, statements of the church, you know, particularly from revealed truth, you know, as a way of guiding us in matters of faith and morals. And all through these years, uh, we have tried to make sure that the newspaper projects the activities of the diocese, things around the diocese and even outside the diocese. We try to report various events taking place in parishes, taking place in various departments across the diocese, and even news from the Vatican and different dioceses across the country. The partner newspaper is very, very compact. We have some mind-blowing editorials and columnists. We have a section for the kids, we have the youth corner, we have the family and human life corner, 
we also have that of faiths and doctrine alberion institute of communication education belongs to the parental body known as society of saint paul which was founded by blessed james alberion a media visionary and marvel alberion institute of communication education is not a separate entity always uh, we work within the church for the church and we always collaborate and cooperate with the mission of the church and today more than ever before the church understands the need of media for her uh, mission on parish communications committee father anthony godonu director of social communications of the catholic archdiocese of lagos explains the parish communications committee is what has been proposed over the years but has not seen the light of the day because of the logistic and exigencies around us here and there and uh, we find out from the directory of social communications that uh, if we really want to achieve and have a robust content for the directory of social communications there is need to establish the parish communications committee the parish communications committee is one of the uh, mandates that has been given by the Archdiocesan Parish Archdiocesan Guidelines that was published about two years ago in which we were told to establish Parish Pastoral Council, Parish Finance Council and Parish Lady Council. Under the Parish, Parish Finance Council it was supposed to be Parish Communications Committee that is supposed to work for the parish and generate the content, the, uh, the ideas, the reporting and all that from the parish to the center. But we, in the past, it has been that the center has been the one sending everything downstream, no? So by this time, we want to do it right by establishing the Parish Communications Committee, uh, which will serve as a committee that will help the parish in terms of media and communication and publicity. It is hoped that if the committee is established in all the parishes, they will be able to help the parish priest in generating the contents for the bulletin, in taking care of the parish programs, uh, maybe almanac, brochure, and calendars, and all those things. They are the people that can do all these things. The media apostolate of the Catholic Archdiocese of Lagos Province is ranked among the best in service delivery, even as the church disagrees with those canvassing the idea of criminalizing hate speech. We not just work only within the Lagos Archdiocese, we we do a job also with uh, the region. And when I mean the region, we look at Ibadan province and Lagos province. Not too long ago, I know I personally was were doing, before sister was still in school then, we do um, a workshop with the, the, the seminarians, we call it a catechetical workshop, and bringing communication into it. When something is a passion, is a passion. And when you carry out your what you love doing with that passion, it comes out beautifully well. You know, like uh, when when people see me with camera, it's like ah, sister, is this sister? Uh, sister, are you the one doing this? You know, some some persons have not come to terms that this work can actually be done by a lady. Talk more of the religious. Constitution of Nigeria guarantees freedom of speech. Anybody can air their opinion, their feedback on any issues. And I don't think any attempt to crack down on the freedom of speech is good. Hate speech evolves because people are ignorant of many things. Ignorant of media, ignorant of uh, social issues and so on. So I think instead of uh, uh, cracking down, the government is supposed to educate its citizens. So G.K. Jesterson who said, education is the soul of a society, it can change the society, it can change the mindset of people. So only through education we can change the mindset of people and bring change in the society. I think uh, we can really uh, change the society 
by giving good education to its uh, citizens so in this aspect i want to emphasize that uh, we need to emphasize on the media education and uh, alberian institute of communication education uh, takes lot of interest in imparting um, media education to its citizens partnering with interest groups to achieve said goals the directorate believes it cannot ignore also that laity has its role to play in growing the church's media apostolate the directorate is not a, it, it just a tree standing in the forest it is a tree that has surrounded so surrounded by other trees to make the forest and uh, because of that we have signis as the mother body for all the other media uh, bodies within the archdiocese which of course is also national signis we have signis international we have signis national we have signis dioceses and of course we are also talking about signis uh, provinces that are being expected to, to to also have a kind of a, a robust uh, standing now the within the signis we have the um the kapan catholic uh, media practitioner association of nigeria who are also who are into the print and media broadcast and uh, including even those who are in IT as well and then uh, they work together with the directory to generate the contents for our newspaper for instance and also to push the agenda of the Catholic Church within the secular media. We have been partnering with groups and institutions within our diocese already and we hope to do more. We hope to partner more with the health department to be able to tell more about what is happening with our Catholic hospitals and the outreaches that are carried out. We try to partner with JDPC um, and see uh, some of the work of evangelization that they do and then try to showcase them and so many other departments like that within the diocese. And without the diocese, that's outside the diocese, there's a lot of partnership going on with um, Lagos Archdiocese and the communication outfits within Lagos Archdiocese and then in Avekuta Diocese. Kampan has uh, three main objectives. And the first objective is to mobilize all media practitioners that are Catholic within the Archdiocese to help to support the works of the Directorate of Social Communications, especially as regards publication of press releases and other statements of the Archbishop. Campan also has a role of defending the Catholic values and correcting misrepresentations of the church. And the most important role is actually utilizing his various communication channels, you know, to promote the works of the church because majority of uh, members of camp and work in secular media and um, there they are utilizing their various media organizations to promote the evangelization and communication activities of the church. The challenges are visible as the Directorate of Social Communication, Lagos Province and the Media Apostolate of the Lagos Archdiocese look up to the clergy and lay faithful to lend their hands in the task of building a viable directorate for improved services. One of the problems, you know, with media is in you know, um, sustaining the outfit and even continuity. Uh, for instance, we, let's bring it home. When we talk about, you know, we produce, of course, at the level of production, uh, we have to face the challenge of trying to you know, more or less like um, encourage, you know, reporters that we have. I'm the editor, but I have two other members of staff who work with me, and they are reporters. So basically, we get information from across the diocese, you know, from events, they're probably the bishop visits a place or the other in the diocese, we get such information. Of course, we have, you know, um, we have other, um, other things that we, that we do to see that we are able to speed up the rate of, of production. We have a passion when there are challenges or there are obstacles, you don't see them as challenges, you see them as opportunities to, to grow higher. For us, EHD Media, we have a vision, we have a dream, and I, I believe and I know 
we are moving towards that dream. So far, I know that um, some persons, like I said earlier on, they are not used to women doing this, uh, talk more of sisters. So uh, this is a good opportunity to also tell the world that we are here for you. I come and experience EAG media. Like the last job I did, the priest said, Sister, are you sure you can do this? <laughs> are you sure you can? <laughs> Father, just leave it for me. And believe you me, it came out the photo book. In fact, he said he has not seen this before. I think um, the only thing that we can always request for, and I know which the church uh, needs a lot, because it's often said that the church does not thrive on ill Mary alone. Is financial support. With financial support, we can go very, very far. We, are, we have enough for what we are doing at the moment, but for us to be able to do more, we also need more support from organizations, from groups, from people within the diocese and outside the diocese, from our bishop, from different departments, from um, other collaborators within the province, from Lagos Arch Diocese, from Abekuta Diocese, whatever support that we can get in the Jebode, we'll always be glad and we'll really appreciate it. The Directorate of Social Communications, Lagos Province, as a voice of the church, will ever remain relevant in spreading the good news to the ends of the earth. The drawbacks notwithstanding, and like the mother church, built on solid rock, no amount of internal and external pressure will prevail against the works of the directorate. Neither will the chief shepherd of the archdiocese and dioceses shift grounds as they are always on hand to ensure continuity. The message is one and the same, that we should all, you know, listen to the church. The church speaks to us and the church is speaking to us from time to time. You know, in matters that affect our daily living, our living together. Matters of justice, matters of peace, matters of faith, matters of morals. You know, we in this department, we are trying to showcase you know, from time to time some of these issues. But again and again, we should listen to the Holy Mother Church. By giving information to the world about the things that are going on within the diocese. So if anybody wants to know more about the diocese and know about the things happening in the diocese, the easiest way to get at it is through the Communication Commission of the diocese. In order to be well supported from the expertise and professionalism of those who are in media, media, media world, media industry, who are Catholics, uh, we have established the Lagos Archdiocese and Communications Commission, for which I am the chairman as the director. And um, we have uh, about nine members who are there. Some of them are from the media corporate world, and some of them, they are the leaders of the various Catholic media bodies we have. And some of us are priests as well to bring our pastoral communications on board within that commission. All said, the Directorate of Social Communications, Lagos Province, and Media Apostolate of the One Universal Church have come to stay, so long as the Church exists to guide the way to holiness. Mm -hmm.